these problems are long. But you just go slowly working through the cycle as I tried to show you for the mass flow rates and the pressures. And what you can do is you get a, a table of properties like this one. This is for the same. Here I've resketched it. So I have state 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have the two turbine stages, the two pumps. We have the two Qs that are in the steam generator, the first pass and then the reheat pass. And then we have the Q out of the condenser. In order to calculate all those, I just need to get a table of properties, state 1 through state 8, temperatures and pressures. And here are the enthalpies, which are the keys. But you build this slowly, slowly, OK? Um, and once I have built up the enthalpies, then it's easy to calculate the work of the first turbine stage. What is the mass fraction that's diverted to feed the open feed water heater for this problem? 23%, 22.87%, leaving 77% to continue on through the system. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get an overall thermal efficiency for this cycle. It's calculated to be a whopping 52%. That's tremendous. It's a really good performance. Okay, But <coughs> what we have to do is work up slowly to that thermal efficiency. Notice the back work ratio is low like we've seen before in other systems because we're just the pumps are just boosting the pressure, and they're, they're uh, very efficient at doing that. But this thermal efficiency, if we work backwards, what is the equation for the thermal efficiency? Is it the work net out, which would be the work of the turbine one out, plus the work of the second turbine one out, a uh, second turbine out, minus the work of the first pump in, minus the work of the second pump in. Would that be what we really want, net power out, net work out? OK. And then we have divided by the Q in. That would be Q of the steam generator plus Q of the reheat. True? OK. A lot of times we calculate the Q of the steam generator if, if you remember, what was the equation for that Q of the steam generator? Was it, was it the enthalpy at 1 minus the enthalpy at 8? And it has units of kilojoules per kilogram. We have to really pause and think that per kilogram is how many kilog per kilogram going through that section, right? When we calculate Q of the reheat, it's going to be H2 minus, no, H3 minus H2, uh, right? And it's so many kilojoules per kilogram. If I have one kilogram flowing through or into the first turbine stage, how many kilograms, do I have one kilogram flowing into the reheat section or do I have less? You have less. And so what we do is put everything on the same per kilogram scale. And the same per kilogram scale is the kilogram that goes into the first turbine stage. That's the notation in the textbook. So I'll try to stay with that notation. So this kilogram is what went to reheat. But if I multiply by kilogram reheat divided by kilogram first turbine stage, those kilograms cancel. And I've modified it. So what you end up doing is I've tried to write it right here two ways. This is the Q that's going in the reheat. But it's either per kilogram that goes through the reheat or it's per kilogram that went through the first, well, through the steam generator and into the first turbine stage. Notice it's smaller. What you did was you multiplied by. 1 minus 1. This, this ratio right here is 1 minus 1. Uh, 1 minus y. Did I say 1 minus 1? <laughs> it's, it's 1 minus y. 
And the same goes for over here for the condenser. You want the, the heat released out of the condenser per kilogram that goes into the first turbine stage, not per kilogram that goes through the condenser. You just multiply by 1 minus y. All right? That's why we have a couple different notations here. But whenever you put them all on the same per unit mass basis, check, check, check your work. Make sure that these are OK. And then you have greater confidence in your calculations. Um, so let me do this one right here. See this one? This is the work out of the second turbine stage per kilogram that goes through that second turbine stage. But if you want it per kilogram that goes through the first turbine stage, it's smaller. It's 1329.21 minus times 1 minus y or 0.7713. Such that all of these terms here in the, in, have the same uh, units. Okay.